food, operation sheets for players. All of my operation sheets. Go back, come and back. The, go back and show the, the player's handbook part again. And yeah, the combat part. it's hard to divvy it up, but I started the same as the old book. Character race options, so it divvies up all of this stuff. And then in here as well, I've included, like, so we have the half orcs, but I also included the tribes of Kumana. Yeah. So that if you choose an orc, you kind of get an idea. Ability stats for your next division to explain everything. Then ability checks, which seemed natural, then going into character classes. So I only have the cleric, which is the fucking longest thing in the world. Well, that's Currently, because I've done all the spells for the cleric. <clears throat> the... Um, cleric stuff, including the sage abilities, lives in here, yeah. but I also have the sage abilities divided into their own separate things, so it's actually double printed in the book. <laughs> so the cleric knows that the cleric has it, but the sage abilities index also has the same thing. Okay. Alphabetically, in the sage index, um, just put in to the cleric index as they receive it. Right. Same thing for the assassin, their own separate sage abilities, but obviously guile and acceptance are not in the same in the sage index. They're alphabetically listed. And then the mage first level spage um, acquisition is all in here as well. And <clears throat> so that they have a basic idea. When I go to character creation, and I'm still printing some of the things off your other stuff. Yeah. Um, my character creation also includes uh, the height and weight plus the index charts for both men and women. So I expanded everything. Yeah. And then this is the beginning of the Sage Index on the player side. The Sage Index in my DM's guide is different. I redid um, your animism. So I've expanded the occultism. So even though everything is still what you've put in, I've also been including things on um, T reading. So I have a player that's really into tea leaf reading. So I went and looked up Jasma, uh, Jasmancy and I'm currently learning too much about tea leaf reading. <laughs> and then I have to print all of Tarot from your system. Um, cards, Carve Sigil, I'm actually rewriting the rules for Glyph completely. No. I'll send you that when I'm done. Cool. And then I have the Hippogriff sheet because I have a player that actually operates a Hippogriff that I just did up. But again, including all your bestiary stuff in here for the player. Action points, descriptions, um, standardized weapon list. Again, I'm still trying to organize it a little bit like the old one, but with the intent of building a better index. Right. Very cool. Very cool. You'll like this one. <laughs> Those are all my index sheets. Yeah. So. Sorry. My DM's guide, and I still have a lot to print for this, includes your original stuff on the world, where you explain like hierarchy and existence of power. So I divided this up into four, uh, five individual columns. Um, then it turns into grenade missiles, missile weapons, uh, hirelings, mercenary hirelings. And I'm trying to divide this up so a player would look at this versus just looking at mercenary hirelings because that's a separate reality. But I do page by grouping. So, like, What does page by grouping mean? So I have wounds, and then I have a second page for wounds. But this one is incurring a wound and binding wounds versus this one is bandages and negative hit points under the heading of wounds. Um, <clears throat> sleeping for rest, rousing sleeping creatures, overland travel. This is the worst thing in the book, by the way. Anytime you want to write more about overland travel, please God do. <laughs> yeah. Temperature, reading and writing. So these are just my basic ones. Swimming was the hardest to break up so that it made sense. This is a fundamental swimming and then it turns into breaking down the swimming ability. Again, parsing out page numbers and water discipline. Um, currently did wild magic, need to do a lot more writing. It's the bestiary, just as you've written it. I do a few pages every time. 
And then I also include things from your actual blog that I just like for context of how things are done. Right. So the daughters and DMs one is in here. Um, um, smash it and build anyways. Uh, anytime I can put this stuff in here, by the way, I love it. <laughs> um, this is War Story. And then I have fundamental map making because we print everything out and cut out as needed. And then I keep a separate part for where my players have traveled. So this is my base information for Venice. And then I can pet mentalize it all into a packet. But this lets me give them pictures of things for the Basilica and divvy it up for myself as well. Right. Because, like, I have the assumption of Mary it gives me all the information plus the Wikipedia information as well. So I can look it up while I'm doing it. Then I compartmentalize it into a package and just label it Venice. <clears throat> I have 52 pages to add to this that I made.